So if we're talking inner sphere, if we're looking at succession era tech, is there a more iconic, is there a stronger powerhouse than the Atlas mech? It has the firepower, has the auto cannon 20, so right away Fritz is in. It has the tonnage, close in attacks, kicking, punching, brawling, charging are going to be devastating. You're going to literally split a light mech or a medium mech in half. But does it match the narrative? And in Battletech, and in other war games too, you have a unit that is very powerful. You have a unit that in the narrative is just just an unstoppable force. Does it translate over easily into the actual physics of the tabletop? Or is there a little bit more tech, a little bit more finesse behind it? I find that with the Atlas, yes, 100%. And I wanted to share my opinion on this because... As a new player, if you just throw down a heavier mech, especially with the Atlas, it's easy to run, well, it's easy to run away from. It's easy to not be there. That's that's the biggest challenge in, in playing the game. You're sinking significant battle value into the mech. And it's battle value well spent. But if you can't engage with it, then that battle value is not going to match up across your, your opponent's lance, they're easily going to beat you. So I find more than anything, what the Atlas wants to do is get close with the targets and use its armor and firepower to just devastate you. Use the firepower to focus on a single mech for one or two, one or two turns. Blast that mech away. Take tremendous amounts of damage. You know, take on two battle masters and, and cripple one battle master. Get in there close and physically utilize those fists to just split mechs. You know, use the kicking attacks and just craziness. If there was ever a time for death from above against a mech, I'm throwing like spiders, I'm throwing wolverines, I'm throwing anything with jump jets to try and score a headshot because I need that head crushed to kind of take out uh, such a mech. That is predicated on, if you're throwing the mech against me, staying there. There has to be a reason to stay there. So the primary way to utilize this mech is first based on the mission. Is it a mission where you have to go in and grab something? Is it a mission where you're defending a base and you know the opponent is going to be coming towards you? Now, in a base defense mission, it would not make sense to park the mech, any mech, but especially uh, a relatively shorter range mech like the Atlas at the base because your opponent's going to walk up with the archers, riflemen, Jaeger mechs, longbows, whatever, and just, just pelt at you. It would be best to hold that mech back away from the base when your opponent approaches the base to get in there and grab the tech, the lost tech, the data core, whatever, Boom, then you know you go up and you just run up a couple of hexes and engage. Or if you're going to go attack your opponent's base, you just move straight in. So that's where this mech really shines. It well, it's it's an assault, it's the king of the assault mechs. It's the assault assault mech. Moving that forward, if I move it in to take your base to attack your point on the map, then there's nowhere for you to run. You're going to have to engage it. The question is when. And I'm going to use the other mechs in my lance to try and force that engagement on you. Now, we don't always know the mission. I mean, personally, uh, I like to agree on the mission ahead of time, kind of like a mission briefing for Battletech. So we agree on the mission we're going to play. We agree somewhat on the terrain ahead of time. We agree on the battle value we're going to spend. And then we we buy the units. We don't tell each other what we're, we're taking, although depending on my opponent, and certainly I know them, they know me, I'm pretty sure there are certain favorite units that are going to make their appearance in every list, but I don't know 100% what I'm going to be facing. So if I know the mission, I do that. Now, let's say you take the mech. It's a blind mission or a random mission you don't know, and you're not playing Steiner, but you find out you're in a recon mission. So how do we use the mech for that? If it's in a mission where the table is dynamic, meaning my opponent is not going to be focusing on one point or another, I can, in theory, run away from the mech. So I need to position the best I can so you can't fully run away because I'm not going to be able to chase you down with such a heavy mech. That means dominating the center of the table is key. 
deploying out wherever I'm going to deploy, marching right up to the center, and sitting in the center there. I'm going to be able to receive firepower, so if my lance is advancing and you're advancing, and that element is in the center, yes, I'm going to take firepower from straight ahead, I'm going to take firepower from the left, I'm going to take firepower from the right. I, I really, there's not too much I can do about that. But if I'm in the center of the table, what that means is if you try to go on the left to outflank me or escape, you're physically going to hit the left side of the table or the hex map. You can't move off it. I'm going to be able to move in, and now I only have to cover half the map, and I can bring my weapons to bear on half the map, likewise to the right or straight ahead. As um, a contrast, if I was on the other side of the gaming table, all the way over to the right, and I'm marching up, you just take a lot of your assets, mechs, tanks, vehicles, whatever, and run them up the left side. It's going to take me way too long to cross to the center of the table with the atlas and then cross from the center to the other side and bring my weapons to bear. So positioning is key. It's not optimal for a recon mission or a non-fixed mission, but it still could possibly work. That's my thought on it. And what we see with a lot of these mechs with big, heavy guns and stuff, you begin to realize you have to get your opponent in the iron sights, not the targeting computer or the tech because we're not there yet, but physically in the iron sights of these mechs, of your mech with your you know, four PPCs and tons of long-range missiles and multiple autocannons, you got to be there to be able to shoot at your opponent. The question becomes, how do you do that? And with the Atlas, that is key. 